it's Marcia from Wills and Wellness with Marcia. In case nobody knew that, um, just in case a new person came on, and don't know who I am. It's me, Marcia. And today I'm going to talk to you about the enzyme ramping protocol. And there's five different parts, and then some maintenance, and we're going to go through that and see what we can learn. Are you ready? Okay. Essential enzyme was formulated in 1984 with this protocol for someone suffering from degenerative disease such as cancer. Most people would not f need to follow this protocol, but it will help you to understand the commitment it takes to fight disease. Phase 1. Take three ca caplets three times daily. Increase by one caplet every day until you become nauseated. Then discontinue the essential zyme for 24 to 36 hours. So you want to take three essential zymes three times a day and increase one caplet every day to the four next day, five the next day. And then when you get nauseated, you can go uh, stop for two day, three days. Make it three days at 36 hours. Repeat that again. Take three caplets three times a day. Increase by one caplet, tap, caplet every day until you become nauseated. Then discontinue essential zyme for 24 to 36 hours. So it's a day and a half. 24, 36. Wow. Yeah, three, three days. Phase two. Take four caplets three times a day increase daily by one caplet until you become nauseated rest discontinue for 24 to 36 hours same way but four so um, if you really are committed to beating your whatever disease you have diabetes cancer uh, thyroid whatever the problem is get you some essential zyme and take it faithfully um, phase 3 take 5 caplets 3 times a day increase daily by 1 caplet until you become nauseated rest again for 24 to 36 hours might as well do the 36 hours, that way you get completely rested up from it and then start up again until you're feeling better and getting released from whatever problem it is that you're going through. Phase 4. Start again with the amount that you are taking before the nauseating occurred on the third time. For example, if you were taking 18 caplets you would have been taking six caplets three times a day when you became nauseated. Therefore, start with phase four again with six caplets three times daily and continue with this amount for six weeks. Phase five. In the seventh week, start the enzyme uh, ramping program all over again. This means to begin phase one again and increase the amount by one each day until your na nausea or vomiting starts again. Repeat and continue for six weeks as previously described. If your doctor determines that you are in remission, you can maintain with 5 to 10 caplets daily for one year, six days a week. I might read through all these again, so if you really want to do this and you ha have you and you have a problem and you want to get off and get off to a good start and get your bit get better, I recommend this. Now the maintenance on this, it says take five to ten essential zyme caplets three times a day. 
and then it says caution. This is very rigorous program. You should consult with your doctor or healthcare professional before starting and having a doctor monitor your progress during the program. Should I go through this one more time? You start out with three tablets three times a day the next day until you then one more every hour but until you get sick. I know it sounds weird. Why would you take something until you get sick? But it, it works. I, I, I don't know. I've never did it. But it, it should work because that's what they said on here. In 1984, someone had cancer and they did this. And I don't know who it was and how long it took them, but it's supposed to work, I guess. Then, then on the next day, you take four caplets three times a day, and the next day, five caplets three times a day. But then you have to take your 36 hours after. So, it'll probably take about six weeks to do this as it was. So, take one three times a day, and there's three days. And then wait for your three days. So, that's six. So, one, two, three, four, five. That's about six weeks. So, anyway, I hope this made sense to somebody. Um, to somebody out there. And if you know somebody who has cancer, like this says, or some other disease of some kind, and they're willing to try this, share this with them. And that's all you, you have to do is share. It's up to them whether they want to do it. And it's up to you whether you want to share. It's up to you whether you want to help somebody. I'm trying to help somebody. And have them talk to the doctor and see what they think about it. And go from there. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope I helped somebody. Give it a thumbs up or thumbs down. Comment any suggestions or concerns you might have. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. And tomorrow I'm going to talk about heavy metal cleansing. So I'm not talking about the stuff you lift that's heavy. I'm talking about things inside you. The heavy metals. Bad, the bad things that we need to keep cleansing out of out of our bodies. So I guess I see you guys tomorrow and I hope you have a good day. And I have a surprise for one lucky um I was gonna say subscriber. One lucky subscriber I'm subscribed to will have a lucky surprise on tomorrow. So have a good day. Look forward to talking to you. Ta ta